I know Carlos really had a pretty good season last year. Well, uh, David's very good. You know, and, you know, he's a very strong player. He's a he's a different kind of player than Carlos. So I think they balance each other. And we've always tried to get two backs always that don't look the same. So they attack in two different ways too. One's quick, one's strong. And over the course of time, hopefully, a defense has to adjust to it as well. So David is David's one of those players that what I didn't know about David was how hard he would work at the game and how much he loved the game because he's got a quiet uh, persona about him. David works as hard as anybody and might be the strongest guy on our football team. Will be, and he'll pass Ben Booth being that work ethic thing over the course of four years right now if he stays on the track that he's on. And he just does it in a different way. He does it in his, in his way. And, uh, you know, we look forward to what he can do. But we won't hang our hats on one guy because, you know, it might be a, a one series deal for him or it might be a one season thing for him. We don't know. So we'll have Carlos, Evan Williams, Zach Cutcomp. We also have to have a balance there as well. You have three really good linebackers to replace in Fort, Connolly, and Smith. Talk about the linebackers and also that uh, transfer from Kansas that's listed as a linebacker, too, in, in Jake Farley. Yeah, we've got a, a linebacker. There's no – Jordan is – Jordan's the guy. I mean, Jordan's really good. As, as I watched film and did a study on ourselves over all the years, what I've noticed is is that Jordan is an excellent linebacker. Probably had him underrated last year, really, what he could do. So he's a starter. He's, a, he's an experienced starter. So I'd put him against with any of the linebackers we've had in the past. You name them, uh, LJ included. Uh, Jordan's an excellent linebacker. After that, you know, Sam Tim. Sam's going to play the nickel. Sam's going to be behind uh, Jamar Thomas and James Conley and, you know, whoever I threw out there. But he's been waiting his turn with a lot of patience, and it's his time. So he knows the defense as well as anybody does. You know, the Will linebacker is it will start with Busher and Gilson. They've been here in our system. Both, you know, have a nose for the football. They're kind of like Nate Shaw, that kind of makeup. They gotta, they'll they'll run downhill, and then we're gonna have to rally back in the pass. And uh, still think we needed depth there. So uh, you know, we picked up uh, Jake came in from Kansas, and uh, you know, one thing that I, I do know about Jake is he grew up on this program. And uh, he knows what this program is about. He knows how we want to play and, and what we expect. And, uh, you know, that's a great thing about him is we don't have to teach that to him. I mean, he's, he's done that. He's seen that since he was six, whatever years old or ten years old when he came here, man. When you walk in our locker room, you know, it's, it's, it's a Division One locker room. It's not a one double A locker room. It's a Division One locker room. So uh, what, what's it like to have, have your son back, back in town then and uh, being able to work? being able to work with him and how's he adjusted to be actually he, he, eating your wife's cooking again <laughs> i'll put it there. he's it, it, it's fun to have him there's no question but you know what when he hits that when he hits that football field you know it's he's he's like any other guy out there he's got to earn everything and he's got to earn his key he's got to play to our level and uh you know time will tell it's, it's there's no question there's a side of me that's it's great you know, ask me in a month if it's great. So <laughs> ask him in a month how great it is. But, but it's, it is good, but at the same time, you know what? When, when, when it's here, it's, it's about how can we make the UNI football program better? And you're representing the logo, the emblem, the University of Northern Iowa, just like every one of them young men are, are doing there today. Anybody else? How about the situation at tight end? Tight end, okay. We all know about uh, Sherrard, or not Sherrard, sorry, uh, Darian. Darian. And uh, so look to Sam Rohr. You talk about a young man that should be excited for playing against Wisconsin, Sam Rohr. You know, he's from Wisconsin. So that's pretty neat for him to get a chance to go back home. And, uh, you know, we have uh, uh, Steven Figueroa. It took him a couple years ago, transferred in from Arizona State. You know, so he's been in our program long enough now that he can be impactful this season. And we have a lot of redshirt freshmen from Brandon Lehman to uh, you know, to uh, Will Roth, uh, we're searching and finding that other tight end because when we play with two, that means we need three. So I would say Roar and Figs, and we're trying to find and develop that third one, whether it's Will Roth, Brandon Lehman. You know, they're both six six guys that uh, have worked at the, the weightlifting. You know, they could become the number one very easily as we progress through camp. But right now, I, I would look those four to become the three that we roll with. Okay? Thanks.